Oh, it is a cold morning this morning, man. It's about 6 a.m. I'm going to obtain a train back to Gatwick. Catch my flight out of here. Ian, if you see this, thank you so much for being so accommodating. You are a legend. That is the most annoying shit ever. I hate when people do that. First world problems, I know. If you're gonna sell cold brew and say you have it, don't give me an ice americano because it's not the same thing. Cold brew from Starbucks is actually quite good. Fun fact. I don't like Starbucks really other than that, but I do love their seating and I love their design. I do like Starbucks. I swallow my words. I've still got like an hour basically to my flight, so I'm gonna bang out the laptop and try and do a little bit of work. Okay, I lost track of time. It's half eight. My plane boards in 20 minutes, and I don't know what gate I'm at. If I miss this flight, I am a fucking moron. I need to find where my plane's going from. I need to find one of those boards. It says my gate is closed. I am such a fucking idiot. Oh man. Oh no. I think it was gate three. Oh, I think fuck. Oh no. Thank fuck. There's still people here. Oh man, that was too close. Thank you, Dylan. You need to go. Yeah, thank you. There is never a dull moment when I have to be somewhere on time. I can't believe we made that. That was a great flight. I literally just put my head back and conked it, and we're back in the land of Ireland. This is completely unrelated to the vlog, but Machine Gun Kelly, when he raps, is incredible. It's busy today, man. That is why I did not want to get my bags checked on. Everything just seems to be going missing at the moment, man. Carnage. I don't know how you managed to lose a million bags. Dude, I have a video of you going ah. <laughs> What the fuck? When did you come up here? My bus wasn't supposed to leave till like quarter to twelve, I think. It's me, and it's picking me up again. This woman does not fail, people. Let's hit the road. Hey, I'm telling you, people, everyone needs to get a speak and a feek. What a woman! Because she texted me, asking me where I was, and she never said anything. I was literally planning on waiting for like an hour or so, and then getting the bus home for like another hour and a half. Now we get a carpool. I was just saying to speak that I was hungry and she was like, oh well, look at this. It's a yogurt parfait. I used to get them when I was in Mexico and they were delicious. I'm a lucky guy, I'm telling you, I don't have to do much. Just hold the camera, talk shit and get money. We made it home. Now it's time to get to work. I have a good few edits and stuff that I have to get through today. See you later. I'm gonna do my best to keep these sober October vlogs in track. I feel like when I have days like this where I'm just gonna be at the desk all day, it's gonna be difficult. I am gonna work out later on at around four o'clock. I'm gonna do an upper body kettlebell session and then I'm gonna go for a 30 minute run just to get some miles onto my legs and as well as that, just to build up my upper body. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go for a sunrise sauna swim. So that'll be fun. Basically, 20 minute non-stop. It's 20 kettlebell swings, 50 kettlebell push-ups, 25 each side, 50 200 squats, 50 clean press, 50 L-sit, and 50 kettlebell deadlift. Exposed to so you jump at the top. I think I done my first one of Sober October. I tried to do one on the weekend, but I only hit eight. We hit 10. Feel pretty good, touch wood. My abductors are cramping up a little bit, but that's definitely from the squats that I was doing before, because I did squats and deadlifts with the kettlebell. So I just think my grinds are tight for that. We're stuck in traffic. The poor Sveek is having to do the driving once again. Keeping awake. I hope it helps my back and my legs because they are feeling it after yesterday. Yeah, Feek is sore too. She did, um, did uh, legs. Legs. Feek did legs. I really don't want to do this. 
I do, but I don't, you know. I would resonate with you because I I'm will, much of the same. I'll enjoy it when I do. Wait, that guy's in good shape. Red as a pumpkin because he was in the sea. There she is. That's the sauna. We are on our way. Hmm? It's only the barrel sauna open this morning. Normally there's two, but um, I don't think they're open the two of them right now. I haven't been to the sauna in ages. Generally, when you do the sauna, you give it a, there's a 15 minute break in the middle and you go and jump into the sea for that. But a while ago, we got into the sea before we started and it just made it a little bit more bearable for the first 15. So we're in conflict, but I think we're going to do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna jump in here off that ledge. I've done this before in a video, so you've already seen me. Phone out of your pocket. Yes. I jump in with this. And Swim is done. We're going to the sauna. Do 15 minutes back into the cold, 15 minutes on, and back in again. I'll let you know how that goes. We are done, the swim and the sauna, and now we are going to get coffee. Thank you, sir. Say hello to Rob. Bloody lovely, mate. Nice. This is where I met Jamie the other day. That video is actually not out yet, so I don't know why I said that. But I'm getting an old flat white, 100%, mate. This day has completely got away from me. I've literally been sat at the desk editing. Now I have to go up, I have a shoot, and I have to collect a hard drive, so I've got to leave. And I still haven't worked out today, so we're gonna have to work out when we come home, which is gonna be at about half 10, and I'm not too happy about that, but we'll get it in. We have to get it in. Sober October, this is the reality. We're gonna, I'm thinking of doing a kettlebell circuit out the back, possibly. Oh, man. I'm tweaking out a little bit today, I have to be honest. I've just been literally stuck to the computer since we came home from our swim this morning. The swim was fantastic. I felt great after it, thankfully. But I mean, oh, it's just like, it's great to be busy, man. Do not get me wrong. I'm so thankful that I'm busy and I'm able to work as I'm working. But Jesus, today, I feel like I don't have enough time. Deep breaths, man, deep breaths. They make everything feel a little bit more obtainable. We got the hard drive. I have the cameras booked in for tomorrow's shoot. I got the light. See, I literally just like 10 minutes ago, everybody was posting their workouts into the Sober October. It's the one thing right now that's keeping me accountable to working out. Like, I really don't want to have to train when I go home, but I'm going to have to get into it, man. Sometimes you got to do shit you don't want to do. As I put up the reel yesterday, I don't want to do this shit, man, but I'm going to do it. I'm like DJ Khaled now. That traffic was so bad. We're just arriving now. We're going up. Show you the show, we'll show you the hand. Little gap in between. Okay. There you go, look at that. And again. Good. There you go. So I was gonna have to work out when I got home. I'm gonna make Oshin bring me through my paces in some boxing and make me get a motherfucking sweat on. Hopefully he kills me off. He will. No doubt. Yeah, I'm feeling good, Joe. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm fucking around. Boy, I'm gonna spar all now. We're getting this straight up. The boys are pulling me through my face. People, that's me getting my shit fucked up. One of the boys. <laughs> no worries, the boys. We're home. It's 10 past 11 and I am tired. I got a little bit of a workout in there. I did a bit of a spar with Oshin and with Ethan. They kind of put me through my paces. I don't have any background in boxing, but I've done two classes with the HBA and they've killed me both times. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to jump into one for um 
I need to get my shit organized, man. This is a memo to Dylan Tarmy to get your shit in order. I've got my shit in order, but I really need to get organized because I feel like things are just hitting me in the face and I'm not able to compartmentalize and give them the time space that they need. They're just hitting me and I'm letting them flow over my back and then they catch up with me and I become stressed and it's causing me a lot of unnecessary anxiety. It's been good so far, man. Day four. I just feel like I'm all over the shop, man. My fucking headspace isn't isn't really where I'd like to be. It's not strong enough. There's a lot of doubt coming in, so important to be aware of that, I guess. Okay, people, I'm just finishing this edit. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe. There are a lot more videos coming. I have one coming out on Tuesday this week. It's going to be of the 40-foot swim that we all did as the Sober October group. It's a great video. Make sure you watch it like this video hit the like button because it helps my video be shown to other people and we're still trying to hit a thousand subscribers by christmas time so join the cult subscribe like the video comment what you thought down below and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much bye